Seven oh eight ferry is uh, getting underway tomorrow. Thought we might warn you about that. I don't know why. I guess why would they start it on a Wednesday? I never have figured that out. Who wants they to go always with? have. But why? What's the point? Why on a Wednesday? Well, I mean, no, it oh, goes. Boy, I'm sure looking forward to Wednesday so I can go to the fair and eat some corn dogs and some. I guess they want to have it ten days and they want to end on a Sunday, so you have to start it on a Wednesday. It's when it ends that it becomes important, so you just back it up ten days from when it starts. The fair starting tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. This forecast I got in my hand must go out the window then. Why is that? What does it say? It's going to rain. Oh, yeah. It says partly cloudy and warm for Wednesday. No. Got to be some rain in there. (laughs) Has to be some rain. If that or a Super Bowl is going to (laughs) rain. Stick around. Still to come up, we have our contest this morning. It's an impersonation contest. Call us at 990 or 446-9393. And impersonate, you have your choice. Uh, Miss Hathaway from the Beverly Hillbillies. The late Nancy Nancy Culp. Who died yesterday. You can impersonate her or you can impersonate Bo Reynolds. Okay? From Q105. Yeah. (laughs) We have to figure out which one you're impersonating. If we do correctly, <laughs> you win. It could be tough. Call now. Good luck. Charles Groden is a wanted man. 712 impersonation hotline is open. Do your impersonation. Um, oh, good morning. Um, hello, Chief. How are you? <laughs> oh, yes, lovely. Bo Reynolds. No. <laughs> Jack Nicholson? No. Elvis. It was supposed to be Miss Hathaway. Oh. 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 Oh, you fooled us. Yeah. Well, we, have, we have some wonderful parting gifts for you. Hang on a second. Okay. You're <laughs> missing the flowers, and he sent me flowers. That's so weird. That's this good. is what I got for Diaz on his birthday. <laughs> yeah. What he was saying to you is maybe he couldn't stand the sight of you. <laughs> no, no, no. no I don't kidding. think so. I'm kidding, honey. That's a nice gift. Look, but I don't I care how much guys... it costs. Do something with her. <laughs> just change the way she looks. Change her face. <laughs> That's not true, you guys. I know. Actually, he sent you for a grooming and cleaning at the veterinary. <laughs> right. <laughs> Honey, no, kidding. but it was an awesome gift, and I think that I talked to a lot of girls, and they said... What did they give you? A facial? Uh, yeah, I got your a hair, complete massage, manicure. a complete facial, manicure, pedicure. They did my hair. They my... trimmed the butt hairs? No, I don't have Shave them? <laughs> Wax no. the pubes at all? No, okay. my boyfriend does that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what a great relationship you have. Congratulations, <laughs> you probably look like a million bucks, huh? Yeah. How much did it cost yeah, to have that um, tattoo off your shoulder removed? <laughs> no, I'm not what into the tattoos. What do they do? Stick <laughs> I'm not into tattoos. not like fair. All right. Well, say something to your boyfriend right now. Um, thanks, Kevin. I love you. And his birthday is next week. We'll do the uh, same for him. <laughs> Can I go to Billy Wall? Sure. sure. <laughs> 95 YNF. Ron. Yo. Hey, this is Pete. How you doing? Hey, Good. Pete. How are you, Pete? Uh, am I in the air now? Yes, Pete. What's up? I am. Uh, well, uh, I was wondering if you guys saw the uh, 20 millimeter Vulcan guns on the C-130s that went down there in the uh, Persian Gulf a few days ago. No, it didn't. They're actually called Vulcan guns? They're actually called Vulcan guns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Uh, a lot of damage. Be, <laughs> it might be just the Iraqis calling them Vulcan guns. Uh, <laughs> they're shooting those Vulcan guns again. Ronnie, did you see this piece in the paper today where they're counting how much uh, Hussein blinks? Yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. He's that's blinking something like 120 times a minute. It says that that shows instability. <laughs> it's a sign of instability. Business consultant John Malloy kept track of the number of times Saddam Hussein blinked during his recent CNN interview because rapid blinking indicates instability. Now, how many times was it? Normally, it's 20 to 25. He blinked as often as 40 times a minute. The guy looks like he's falling apart, according to... This business consultant. So he's now uh, blinking about 45 times a minute. Mm-hmm. Much more than normal. Hey, you got Mr. Blinky over there. Mr. Saddam blinking away. Who are you blinking at, Mr. Winky Blinky? Who are you blinking at? Maybe you got a Patriot missile in your Ronnie, eye. Maybe Ronnie, that's why you're blinking. Ronnie, what's Who this knows? supposed to be? Let me just ask you. You got Saddam doing that whole blinking thing over there. Getting a little nervous. Blinking away. Don't wink at me, buddy. I'll blink you right back. That's for sure. I'll kick you right in your blink. You know it. Mr. Blinky Saddam. Just blink away, pal. Keep blinking. Keep blinking that fast. Eyes will just take off. Fly right out of your head. Here's what I think, Ronnie. Are we taping this? Let's play it back to him so he can hear the impression. To see how far it is. Don't see me blinking, do you? Haven't blinked in three weeks. Robert Haven't Plant blinked at all. On 95 YNF. Seen two of the three little pigs, Dr. Don and Jack Harris. Mark Chase is uh, off flying around in dangerous airplanes, which will plummet to the ground today. Mm. We have people on the line. It's uh, impersonation day. Your choice. Nancy Cole for Bo Reynolds. Do your favorite and go. Oh, Chief, we've got to get those clumpets out of here. Oh, they're just taking all of the oil from us, just like Saddam. <laughs> Bo Reynolds! Bo Reynolds! Bo Reynolds! Yes, Bo Reynolds! 
<laughs> Good job of Bo. You must be listening to the other station. <laughs> That's terrible. That was Miss Hathaway. Oh, 